Hey guys, welcome into the Pucker Reborn channel. We're playing Stone Shard today. Guys, I'm very excited to get right into this. Once again, I just want to double check, see, make sure the voice is good here. I've been messing with a lot of settings, trying to get everything right. It, it has been kind of a juggle. However, I did pick a character. Now, in the last episode, we did part, we did the prologue until we ended up getting an error and everything died out. I ended up going with Jorgrim. Jorgrim is a, uh, well, he is a uh, dwarf. That's what we call them. Yes, short, short, stocky man. I do love me, dwarf. Here's kind of his story and whatnot. I guess dwarves are native, uh, natives of fudge, f fudge. Apparently, they're native of Fudge Mountain. Uh, is it Jal Mountain? I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, these stern, half barbarianist people earn themselves a bad reputation in Aldor due to their constant raids. Different races don't offer any advantages or disadvantages instead improving upon unique origins so yeah i mean he's a it's pretty interesting at least the characters themselves and how it all comes together however i do want to play this character out i did go upstairs i already did like the minor things i put on my robe and i ended up putting on the the cowl and kept everything else uh, i got a pretzel I ended up getting myself a pretzel here i didn't do anything special i have yet to leave this i've gone upstairs i came back down Nothing crazy. If you guys want to see that, I am. I apologize. <laughs> I could have probably handled that a little better. However, we have plenty to do here. First off, we need to talk to the bartender. Feel, or feel, feel out. Wow. We need to ask him some questions. For instance, I need to speak to the. I need to get their voices down. So, uh, let's see here. I could do like an Arnold Schwarzenegger voice for him. <laughs> no, I, I won't do it. I have never done it on camera, so it's kind of weird. Unless I'm in the moment. So we'll just do this. I need to speak to the elder. Where can I find him? Our elder Odar. Oh, Odor. <laughs> it's Odar, but Od Odor. Lives right in the middle of the village. And in the village hall. You can't miss it. It's right in front of the market. If you need to earn some coin, go visit him. He is our great master. Or his is our great master. No, he is a master of contracts. Anything else you need to talk to? Talk about. Well, tell me about your village. Our village is called Osbrook. Life is hard. We don't complain. The mills help, and we've got a few farms here and there. And if you compare us to our neighbors, life is sweet as honey. Hmm. The war went past us, more or less. You see, there's hardly enough fools to fight in the boondocks. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, is there anything going on in the neighborhood? Things around here are sh <laughs> Here, sure, I'm more calm if compared to the neighbors. But you've got to keep your eye out anyway. Leaving the village is, without good reason is a fool idea. I, all kinds of bandits wander these roads. And there also is these crypts, built in order, oh wait, built by the order who knows how long ago. Uh, sniffing around them isn't safe either. You can run face to face with an undead or worse. Though I guess that... Maybe exactly but what you're looking for. Keep listening. I've got nothing else to say, you fool. What do you got? You short little stubby man. <laughs> uh We're sad, I see. Alright, well, we have to go and talk to your guy about contracts. That's the main thing. If we get three contracts, you guys didn't see that part, but if we get three contracts, we can get a horse and we can get out of here. Try to get stone the stone shard to its I don't know where the heck we're going with it, honestly. Oh my gosh, you boozer. Get over here. Give me that bottle. Oh, why don't you... Why don't we... Whoop, go wet our throats to celebrate meeting? Huh? What the hell are you selling, old man? Oh, I got a, an empty bottle of spirits, a coin, and, well, some garlic. I'll tell you what I got. Nothing to sell you. Let's talk a little bit more. Heard anything interesting? Uh, I don't know. Uh... To hell with it all. Oh, you really are... You, you are just pissing your life away, my friend. You're not even a friend, but here we go. Alright, so... Yeah, so they were saying that he's down here. Now, I... I this is, again, some metagaming. Because I have played this a few times now. I have not done any of the quests. So I'll get that part out of the way right now. It's such a unique game. In some of the things that you can do. Um... Wow, we just went into a dead end. 
I think he's up in here. There's there's so much you can randomly find. You could find something unbelievably good or something unbelievably not too good. And there's so many random events on top of that. A little barracks here. What do you got in the barracks, my friends? Huh. But you know I need something. It's so weird, I'm just walking into a barracks stealing stuff. No big deal, whatever. Get over it. Oh yeah. Management. Got to love it. What else do we got here? Oh, I, I gotta say, the war scythe is awesome. I don't know how I'm gonna build Jorgrim just yet. Obviously he already comes with 15 strength, which is quite a bit compared to what I'm used to at least playing this game. I wouldn't mind getting a mace. Uh, like I say, there, when I play games, I always go for like, like I love critical, like trying to focus on critical stuff. Uh, but in in the sense of us just selling items too, I mean I can't complain there either. Well, let's get a bow attached here as our secondary. Okay, and a staff that would be pretty cool as well. I think there's a yeah black chances. Yes. Yeah. And a barrel, of course. Everybody's just sleeping. Like, just stealing things. You know, earrings, whatever. I'll take whatever you got. As long as you aren't going to wake up and start freaking out at me, everything's fine. Let's talk to this guy. Good to see Odar. He's upstairs. Can't you smell him? <laughs> okay. Well, yes, I smell Odar from way down over here. Let's go downstairs. Maybe there's somebody in the dungeon? No. Something I can look at. Nothing. Holy cow, we, this has been exciting to start. I'm walking around with a wooden shield, I'm raiding everybody's stuff. And this Odar, the stinky man over here, he's just writing a poem. And I'm like, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's stealing you off the wall? <laughs> Who's taking you away? I'm gonna throw your nails on the ground. Hope you don't step on that, loser. You need something? Yeah, I need you to pick up them nails I just threw on the floor. Let's talk, Odar. First off, you stink like crap. It's always a pleasure. I don't know how I want to make this guy. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for work. Uh, Elrad, Elrude. Uh, we've got some work for you. Here are the contracts, Captive Adversary. And uh, Fugitive's Hand. Which one are you here about? The Emissary or Fugitive's Hand? I'm going to go with... Uh, Fugitive's Hand. Have you heard of the escaped convict, Dirk the Loki? <laughs> oh, you know what I should do? I'll do it like this. Um, must be quite the quite a character if there's a bounty on his head, riding from all that by, or from all that way from Byron. I heard from the magistrate scouts. He was, or he has a lair nearby. Outpost Nervist. Keep listening. To put it bluntly. It's a serious situation, so your word won't be enough. If you want to claim the bounty, you have to bring him, bring his hand to me. It's marked with a convert, or with a converse, apparently converse brand. The convict's name. Brand, jeez. Iggy, Iggy, Psyker? Need to think it through. Uh, I, I have no idea how to say some of this. This will do. Ah, good guy. That's settled. <laughs> it's settled then. It's supposed to be that's settled then? It's settled then. Gimme your map. I'm lucky in the right spot. Come back within four days or else I'll smack you on the buns. Oh, okay, that's kinda weird. Uh do you have any rumors for me? I just don't get how an old man Burke manages to run his business amidst all the ha all the havoc. Forests are swarming with undead, roads are overrun with bandits, and there are sightings of orcs in the northern forest again. But he doesn't even turn a hair. Just keeps brewing and best gosh darn beer around. He's a great lad, our Burke. And he sounds like a great guy. Um Yeah, I pretty much found everything. Let's see what he's got. Holy crap, you're just rich, dude. You're just freaking rich. What is this crap? Oh my gosh, screw you, guy. Hey, hey, screw you, guy. Wish I could rob him. It's just, it just wouldn't work, I don't. It wouldn't be believable, honestly. And I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't blame him for being like, hey, execute this man. 
want to buy a fatter chunk no <laughs> no i don't no i've got plenty of wares <laughs> uh i can get anything you need oh yeah sure let's see what you got going on here holy crap look at this he's got the mace see it would like again it would be really cool to do mace of sorts Fortunately, rings are just a little bit of bling. Actually, health restoration is good. I like that. I like health restoration. In fact, look at you, you, you big bastard. I love you. Look at this. Mace. We got yourself a mace. We have a mace book. We learned the two together. My goodness, anything is possible at that point. The other thing, too, is he's got a lot of stuff he's willing to buy from us. So let's just start selling everything. Sell some coal, sell the, the plate. Um, yeah, we're gonna sell that. Sell that. No. Oh, geez, don't do that. Okay, so now we have a little bit of space here to work with with everything. Uh, and this game is worse about. It's like Tetris. Come on now, you gotta get that down right. Okay, so what do we need? We, we don't have splints. That's a big deal. Just based on damage itself. The food doesn't cost much. Blacksmith mittens. Holy cow, that's actually really nice. Here to our town gloves. Worth nothing? I mean, yeah, but they're so cool. Look at our little yellow hands. You should be intimidated. My goodness. All right, but what we really need here... Healing salve would be good. Jug of milk, no. I'm thinking that'd be nice. The splint's good, too. 16 crowns. You this sell that we don't need it All right <clears throat> now next uh i do know that we oh enchantment scroll actually i wasn't expecting that disenchantment scroll man guys i'm really really stuck on this i feel like a spike club would be sweet um hmm. <laughs> oh, we can't even buy that uh that's right how much money do we have Holy crap, 300. Oy vey. Not enough. Could buy an enchantment scroll, which would be kind of nice. What's our little fur vest? Uh, not that great. But it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Believe it or not, this is actually nice too, Arcanus Call. But we don't need, we don't need it. So let's continue. Oh, do what do you want, man? I want your, so, okay. I want cooked venison. Four days. I wonder if there's like dried fruit or something like that that would last a long time. Won't spoil. Of course, roasted drumstick. It sounds so good, actually. Drumstick. Uh, we got a little bit of food here. We're actually okay with the food. I see that everybody's dealing with that. I know that there's one thing I learned about the well here. You can actually get your water back. Oh, water skins. That's right. Can't remember who sells water skins. Actually, he might have had a water skin. Okay, what else do we have here? Holy crap, 3,000? Oh my gosh. What's your axe? Bastard. What's your crude longsword? Bastard. How about this crowbar? Huh? I could actually get a crowbar. Fact. Look at this. Heavy club. Oh, we could actually buy the heavy club. So interesting. The penetration with the dwarf, dwarf axe is better. Crushing damage is what it does, though. 5% chance to daze. The critical efficiency is better on the axe, so that is tough. There is a high fumble, or not high, but there's a fumble chance of 3%. Hmm. It's, it, you know, I look at the club and I don't think it's that great, but when we start getting into the skills, get into the skills here. And maces. I'm trying to think here. So it delivers a strike which burns 20% of target's energy and has a 65% chance to inflict knockback. If the first strike is successful, knock uh, wait, it successfully knocks the enemy back, the attacker advances and delivers an extra attack with 70 negative 70% 70 damage and a plus 56% chance days. So, 
If you fail to inflict knockback, the cooldown is reduced by 80%. So wait, does that mean that they get dazed? Interesting. Very interesting. Curious on how this is gonna pan out. You are a ripoff. I don't know who can afford his crap. Go on. Get out of my way. Lucky I don't beat you. I'm starting to talk like Odar. Odor, whatever the heck his name is. And I know this guy over here, he He'll sell me something too. I think that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the healer staff. Now Oh, it actually does. There is a restoration there. Block chance. It's a block chance. Yeah. I always wanted... I figured, like, the staff would be pretty cool. It does have some cool abilities. Oh, uh, let's see. Reinforced club. A little high for our taste. And just not much armor penetration. You almost feel like... It's almost as if you think that it would... Um, I almost want to buy this. The shields are kind of thing. You look at all the debuffs. You know, obviously wood. You're gonna have a fight. The fire resistance is just not there, but that's all right. Okay, well, either way, let's check out the map real quick. So outpost Neverst. We are right here, Osbrook. So now here's the deal guys, it doesn't tell you on the map where you're at, so you need to count the tiles as you're going through these spaces. Definitely worth being aware of. The other thing too is points of interest, could be camps, it could be uh, there's a raid of some sort that was going on, and so on. Manshires, wait, Mary. see and there's different crypts and it tells you the danger. Uh, one thing I've learned as well, when you go to these areas, do not take everybody on at once. Even if that comes off as obvious, like, it does matter. It is not, uh, ooh, three crowns. Throw that in our little purse. Um, it does matter, though. So, something to think about. They, you will get overwhelmed, get killed easily. This game isn't all about looting. You get lucky sometimes, sometimes you don't. So you could sit here like straw. Like, you know, what do... What do I envision being the most, the best thing to buy? Well, straw, or, or the best thing to find in a drawer. Straw, straight up straw. Ooh, a herbalist. Never seen this. Like I said, I made the mistake of just running out into the wild multiple times. Stop walking away from me. Oh, I know my herbs. Everyone will tell you that. <laughs> okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool, guy. Um, okay. So yeah, I know you can pick all this stuff out in the wild. Healing efficiency, immunity. This is actually kind of cool. What to look for? Agarmi? Or Grimami? Agami? Whatever. Restoration. A little bit higher. Energy replenishment. Nice. Now, the question is, does this stuff stack? That's the other thing. Because, like, in, in the same sense, you could just run and start picking all kinds of crap. Oh, you know what? Let me do one more thing here. I don't want to spend all my time doing this, of course. Um, and I am so new to the game as well, guys. So I understand if this might not be the best. <laughs> might not be the most fun thing to watch. But I'm learning still at the same time of trying to do the... Oh, crap. Let's go this way. Crap. Hey, wolves don't know how to walk past arrows. They're arch enemy. Right to this corner here. I'm gonna pop through this corner. <laughs> uh, and don't forget also, when you are playing, detect traps. Because you will walk on a bear trap and it sucks. It's not cool, you know? Oh, here we go. So here, here's just that. Why would you buy this stuff when you can just pick it? What do I do in my afternoons? Well... I go outside and I pick me some flowers. And it makes me really happy. I'm optimistic. Things are going great. I am so optimistic. What could possibly go wrong? The birds are chirping. The, the birds are chirping and flying away from me. There's a little butters. A butters fly. Okay, I do want to see this though. So map. 
what I did was I took the corner. So I went here and I instantly went to the field. So we are technically here. We have two more to go. Jump into the next one. And hope we don't die. Just walking through the forest. I am Joel Grimm. Ooh, some flowers. Okay, I ran right past the flowers. Hey, there's that. So yeah, actually, it's a very beautiful game. Uh, obviously, I don't know what's going on. Normally, you find a bunch of bandits. At least that was my experience like a week ago or so when I was playing this. Okay, so this is where we're going to be at wherever we need to be. So, again, the goal is let's pull them out of their encampment. Whatever the hell they're doing. We will see what... Ah. My goodness. There's twigs everywhere. What kind of forestry is this? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the nice thing too, let's see what we can do. Inspect. Dangerous. Sidekick. Got ray shield and onslaught. Uh, bandits manage. Uh, that's managed to stay alive long enough to earn their crowns. Um, our cronies. Ooh, respect because of the henchmen. Or respect become henchmen to the their leader. Hello. All right, what's this guy? It's like an assassin of some. Oh, poacher. Poachers are at, were at odds with the law even before the war. They were secretly hunted in the lands of nobility. Of course they were. Well, I think this we're doing this for fun. So let's just pick. I feel like shield, very shield, bad, but we can't do anything here, right? It's a backstab. Successfully, or successful attacks against unaware targets, are always crucial. I wonder how you if that there's like a way to sneak. But uh, oh, we don't. Okay. Axes. Well, let's just take this one here. Um. Rush towards enemy and strikes with 138 percent body part damage, and a plus 46 percent chance bleed. If this attack fails, inflict injury. Or to inflict injury, decrease cooldown time by 60. Hey. Just so we have this out of the way. How many skills do we have? Do we have more? Oh, we do. Well, cut through. Delivers a strike with 20% damage, 40% armor penetration, and 150% armor damage. Each in injury affecting the target empowers the strike for 28% more. The passive bonus is negative 5%. Cooldowns duration for this skill tree. What's this passive appraisal. Each injury affecting the target grants your attacks against them plus five percent accuracy and plus five percent crit. Passive bonus. And the one thing I love about this is there is a passive bonus at the bottom that always comes. Uh, Verocity. Click the injury reduces cooldown time duration skill tree by two turns. Passive bonus, the negative 5% cooldowns for the skill tree, and plus, oh. I'm going to go with cut through, though. The more damage we have, uh, the more special attacks we have, I think, the better. Oh. Uh oh. What's this guy? See the guy? The henchman. He just... Can't see me. Oh crap, there he is. Alright. Let's start with just cutting him up. Oh, he's gonna try it. Dodge. Wow, we're dodging like a boss. Just skipping my turn. Let's see. Gorgrim does nothing. Oh, let's do this. Oh, there you are. Oh, you missed like a loser. Uh oh, he's gearing up for something. Ah, cut him up. 
Oh, dude. Too good. Military club. Hey, or er, military. Militia club. Club. Oh my goodness. Round shield and bow. Short bow. I'm thinking. Yeah, we're going to try to craft. It's okay. Oh my gosh, it's not okay. Holy crap, I wasn't expecting that per se. I was kind of expecting it. Ah! Kill him. Yes, let's go. Peasant hatchet. Military club. Can't pick up the shield. Okay. Gonna chuck our shield. Pick. That ain't gonna do. Just gonna throw the shield around a little bit. <laughs> okay, round shield. Oh, this thing is pretty well destroyed. But that's okay. Military club, though. This is interesting. This thing is actually really strong. Fully healed. Hold on to that. Throw that out of here. Okay, that's better. Throw that crap out of here. Let's eat this. Just eat all of it. Just just eat everything. Go. Then, as for our back up here, we're going. still better than the other one. Still better. Let's go like that. Down here. Oh, you're hungry. Or you're thirsty. You can drink for ya. Here's a little bit. Gorgum is more satisfied. But I'll prevent forest fires, of course. Oh yeah, let's take all of it. Oh, we gotta go inside? Oh, oh crap. Yeah, what the heck? Is this all about attack mode? Oh, I see, I see, because we're still got the bow. I'll let him chill a little bit. In the meantime, let's look at her health. So... Torso is come. Oh, everything's kind of coming back together here. All right, we are hungry. It's okay. I plan for this. Okay, so now that we're here, let's just jump into the tomb. Let's see what's going on. Oh crap! Oh nice. Okay, for the sake of us. Ivan. Okay. Nice attack. Oh, we were doing some serious damage, though. If I'm being honest. Okay, so now we picked up everything. Let's see what we got now. Shield we don't need. But we need. Kind of move things around a little bit here. So the hunter hatchet is actually better than what we have. Uh, well, armor damage is a little bit down. Crit efficiency is on par. Fumble chance, ah, the less of a fumble chance. Skills for ener oh, energy for skills. So technically the hunter hatchet is better in my opinion. Yeah, you lose out on the 5% against armor damage. Or 20, yeah, 5% out of the 20%. Got it. Just need something to, to fix that. I'm gonna hold on to it. And for the sake of our health, enemies are nearby. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're a loser. I can already tell. Equal. Goon. There it is. I actually really like this ability, and I and I haven't been noticing that I can actually go. <laughs> Holy crap! There goes his head. All right. Well, there's that. Let's rest. We need the energy back. Obviously, having the health, big deal. We got plenty of food and water, so if we need to resort to that, let's. Okay, with ninety. I'm curious if we keep moving about here, though. I'm just I I just love looting is the problem and I know that 
one thing that I've found is it's it's dangerous though, you know what I mean? Like you don't know what you're crap. What the hell has he got? Who's there? Your mom. Okay. Call me Papa. Oh jeez. That was a good hit though. And off with his head. We oh his weapon didn't stay. That was a unique weapon. I don't know what the heck that was, but Man, all right, let's go, guys. I'm getting a little addicted here. I, I don't know. Oh, sweet, a beat. It's everything I've ever wanted was a crown and a beat. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, step on your head, you fool. You stupid pile of corp crap. I know I could go through that door, but I, I like I said, I'm. Oh no! Dang it, this arm. Okay, so now, a bit of a situation. Use the splint. And. Uh, oh, we're actually doing okay. So why don't we rest? Why, what's this? Stabilized. Oh, yeah, let's eat. Okay, and then I'm thinking we might throw the leeches down. Wait, right. Use. So that should eliminate further injury here. But I'm thinking I'm gonna also. Yeah, I just wanna make sure there's no more traps. So you get the traps, there's all kinds of issues. Ooh, iron ignit. Ooh. Is this guy crook dangerous guess what loser i'm dangerous too stop kicking pallets at me oh geez heck how oh, dare you oh boy do it again uh oh uh oh take the traveling dagger who's this guy Oh my gosh, it's a sidekick. Alright, how's our health? Actually, we're doing okay. Why don't we... Let him get one more closer. Man, I'd really like his armor. If I'm being real. Oh, he blocked it. Not surprised he did have the ability. Oh! Oh! Get you some of that! I am... Yes! In your face! We're gonna get rid of this dagger, actually. We don't need that club. I really want that. What the heck? Why is there a rabbit pill? I'll take it. Heavy club. Um, I'm curious as to which one's better. So, this quick. I just want to see. In comparison, they're both obviously in rough shape. So the heavy club definitely looks like the better one. Yeah, it is the better one. Of course, the axe is gonna stay. Um, yes. So where are we at? Okay, yeah, we definitely need to rest again. Get that out of the way. Okay, and then back to drinking water. Oh, garlic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought that was a radish. I'm like, yes, radishes. <laughs> Who'd have thought food would be so dicing? Oh, you duck. Oh, crap. Dang it, that's not what I wanted. Ha! Huh about this huh how do you like that you sir are dead I need your hatchet though okay so the one hatchet is let's just throw this out for a second grab this one how is it not better shape in fact that get rid of that crap which one's better this get out we don't need how much is the peasant's bow 20 we'll throw that out too Gotta keep our space up here. Oh wait. 
See, I would have missed out on two crowns had I not have given that barrel an attempt. Come on, books. Cheese. Oh, so blessed. So blessed. And I'll be honest, guys, I love me some cheese. So, like, I'm all about that. Yes. Yes, you fools. I'm just a masked freak. Freaking nature. Gonna put one through your face. Oh, there's more. I really need to stop doing this. This is not good. Like, I have learned so much that you just don't. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Crap. Uh. Okay, the reason why I'm saying crap so much here in this is because. Who's this guy? Back. Oh, he's a pyromancer. Crap. Very dangerous. Turncoat. What's this? What's this deal? Very dangerous. Yes, they are. Man, he, what the heck kind of? He made a mistake. Ah. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. You got this. Come on. Oh, yeah. How you like me now? Oh, dude, I was like, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I was really nervous there. I did not think that was gonna end well on my part. But suck it. Your corpses are so, mm, so succulent. <laughs> we need to rest, though. Man, this is great. This is really good. Dungeon crawling. Just dungeon-y. You have no bandages or anything. So now it gets a little interesting because you don't have those things. Okay. As we're resting, yeah, our conditions are just simply getting better. And uh, we have the food and stuff, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Now, in terms of healing... Oh, okay. All right. I just, like, panicked. Let's eat some onions. Eat a radish. Very good. Now, the healing staff. I could get rid of the bow, a short bow. Get the healing staff, and when I go to heal, it'd be a little bit quicker. What's this here? Ruby necklace? Wow. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. This down here. Yeah, guys, this game is great. I mean, I don't know, I, you know, just playing it, it you know, one thing, it's, it's one thing for me to record and play this, but there's like a legit fun that comes from this game. I can honestly say that. Cause you just don't know what's what's next. Oh my guy is now thirsty. There's like a quick hot key for that. I need to. Look that. Oh, that, I thought another radish came up. Yes, radish me timbers. All right, and then. Can I look at the map from here? No, that's not gonna... Alright. I already forgot where that room was. There it is. Okay. Sorry, dude, with your head. Slobbed off. Slobbed. Kidding me? What the hell are you doing down here? A rebel. No, we're equal. I doubt it. Oops. Okay, maybe he is. Get the hell out of here. Uh oh. Check this guy out. Goon. Full suspicious. Oh. <laughs> Not today, bud. Not today. Continue. Okay, okay. Fortify a little crown. I'm almost wondering if I should go back at this point. Oh, we should definitely rest. All right. Okay. Who knows what we come across? Uh, so we'll just eat some onions. 
But yeah, um, I guess, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this content here. This is different. I am trying to break out of my pure just Battle Brothers deal here. Um, I've had people constantly ask, hey, why don't you try this out? Or like, you should try a different game. Holy crap. Oh, I need that pair. Are you kidding me? So yeah, people are telling me you need to try a different game. Like, try different games and just see see what you think. And it's just different, you know. You you play the same, you play Battle Brothers so much, and yeah, it just just a different experience. Grab that pair, yes. Food is so valuable. Cannot say that enough. You guys get, if you need a pair, get one. That sounded really, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dunk of coal. Gonna have to say no to that. Say yes to the crowns. Be thinking the mead. We already have mead. Let me just drink that. Sure. Oh, we can't pick it up. That's right. That's all right. I'm a little confused. Oh my god, it's hungry. Come on now. Eat a pretzel. There. Okay, good. I'm confused here. There we go. We're out of it. I don't know why I did that. I didn't actually need to. All right, who's this guy? Hey. Hey, buddy. Dirk the Bulky. Oh, Dirk! It's Dirk! Guys, it's Dirk! This is the turd that we need! We need to chop your hand off, dude! Come to Papa! Yes, you're close enough to me. Now, don't do that thing where you hop behind me, because that's not cool. Okay, I want to inspect him, see his health. Okay, so his health is actually pretty low. Ooh, he's bleeding. Oh, their healing efficiency. Trash. Very good. Oh, dude, I hate to tell you, but you, sir, are dead. I'm hoping you're going to be dead. Uh-oh. Yes. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, so we got we got a situation again. Here we go. Let's get rid of the rags. So now we should be able to convict's hand. Yep. Grab, okay, his purse. And the dagger. I'm getting the dagger. I don't care what the hell happens. We are getting the dagger. So, I said that wasn't good enough. This is. I mean, it wouldn't make sense if he was carrying a cursed dagger. That would be really, really cruddy. Alright, alright. Let's continue. Let's just... I really shouldn't be continuing this I know but here I am being a fool because if we die like we lose out on this so I have to say that out loud because it's the only way I'm gonna back away from it but loot right loot is life I think that's how it is let's continue here herbal extract hmm. That's really good, actually. That's a really good deal. Yeah. Yes. I wish we... I, oh, shit. Oh, excuse my language. Ah, dang it. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, my goodness. You better, you better figure this out, my man. Okay, not good. Oh, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, it's not good, guys. If I die over this, okay. Well, that sucks pretty bad. Oh well. Well, it was fun. I'll tell you this: it gets really bad though because you really want to do something and something else goes wrong and yada yada. Here we are. You are dead. So we're gonna try this again. We will try this again at a different date, of course, guys. Let me know if you like this content. I don't know. I need to get in the in the mood. The mood. Oh, it's getting weird. No. You are dead, just remember that. 
I got to figure it out. You know, it's a different game. I really do like this game. I just have to figure out like voices and so on. I do want to role play it a bit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hit the like, sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.